Today I want to show you how to set up a Realm in Red Hat Single Sign-On on OpenShift Local on your own computer. Now a Realm is a group of users that can access your application. The word Realm in French is Royaume, which means Kingdom. So you can think of a Realm as a kingdom of, of users that can use your applications. Let me show you what I mean. I am going to make sure my Red Hat single sign-on on OpenShift local is running. So I do CRC start in the terminal and OpenShift local is running. So I take this console URL and put it in the browser. Now take a look at networking, routes, Keycloak, and this is the address to Keycloak, or Red Hat Single Sign-On. You can see here that we have one realm, it's called Master. We want a separate realm for our applications that's going to be called Smart City. But you don't see it here right now. We will deploy it. So first, let me show you where the code is for this. You can go to github.com slash computate-org slash smartabayar dash smartvillage. And in OpenShift, customize bundles, SSL, app, Keycloak Realms, Smart City, Keycloak Realm .yaml. This is where it's at. We'll deploy it to the SSO namespace. It'll have an ID and realm of Smart City and display name. It has some options here for registration allowed, reset password allowed, edit username allowed, remember me, verify email, and login with email allowed, which are useful for users and a list of client scopes. And this will be important when you're interacting with your application and you need information about the user. So that's what that's about. Let's deploy this. So we can go to home slash dot local SRC smart to buy our smart village and we need to make sure to grab a token so we copy the login command i'll use the kube admin credentials here grab a token paste that in the terminal and we're good to go. Now all I need to do is OC apply dash K OpenShift customize bundles SSO app Keycloak realms and it says it's created this Keycloak realm called Smart City. Let's check it out. Now, I forgot to mention one thing. If you don't have the password to Red Hat Single Sign-On, you can find it in Workloads, Secrets, and in the SSO namespace, you'll find credential-SSO, reveal the values, and here is the admin password. So you can take that, you can sign in, And now, if we take a look, there's a new realm and it's called Smart City. So we can take a look at this. You'll see that it has all these options that we wanted and it has the client scopes that we wanted. So this one called Smart City. And this 
client scope has mappers, and here they all are, including one called Smart City, that's an audience mapper. That'll come into play later on when we're building Vertex applications. Now, keep in mind that if you update this custom resource definition here, it's probably not going to reflect if you apply it again to OpenShift. It, it applies these when it's created, but it seems to ignore them after they're created. So you can easily delete it and reapply it if you need to. So I do OC delete and it deletes the key cloak realm. And then if I refresh, it'll say resource not found because it's gone. So we can apply it again and it comes back up with any changes that we want to make and then refresh. There it is again. So very easy. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for more videos because we're going to install a client into this realm so that our applications can connect to the client and we're going to integrate our OpenShift environment so that you don't have to put in the Kube admin password anymore to log into the OpenShift console. You can use your Red Hat single sign-on users instead, which is really cool. And stay tuned for that and future videos. And thanks for watching.